What's up everyone, Trent here at Precision Transmission. So we've got one in here just today. gonna kind of see what we got going on. Um, we talk about torque converter spacing a lot and how important it is and you know, what's your happy medium, what's good, what's bad, uh, in between everything like that. So right now you see this converter, we have it spaced. Well, what we have is we have a transmission that went down. We don't know why it moved, but around the block it quit moving. So it took fluid, it pumped, but for some odd reason it quit moving. So what I'm thinking is, is the customer has the converter space too far into the pump, which not is allowing is not allowing the pump gears and the hub to have any type of movement. I mean, you need a couple thousands in between the pump and the hub. So we're gonna check this out and see what we got and go from there. Okay, everyone, so we have our two bolts, nuts, washers out. We've got three in there right now. We're working on this last one and I wanted to show y'all, I was able to get Cody off of something for a second. We're gonna look and see what the hub spacing looks like in the converter and pump. So what we're looking for is we're actually looking for a little bit of pop uh, backwards toward the rear of the vehicle. Let me grab me a screwdriver. If we have none, that means we have too much spacing in between the flex plate and the torque converter. We have none. Okay, so here's the deal. This is what the customer did. Instead of, I mean, he listened to us. What he didn't do though, he didn't leave room for that little bit of a flex of the, just the motor moving back and forth. Um, you're gonna have crank, you're gonna have wear and some bearings. So the crank's gonna move forwards and back. I don't know how much will they allow. I think it's like five thousandths or something like that in a motor. But we have none. So what this is gonna do, it's just gonna wipe out the pump completely. And that's what it's done is, cause it's in, it's just maxed out in the bottom of the bore of the pump and it's just probably wore a big rut if not made metal see there what what we got he had it popped all the way forward where there was no there was no flex we had no room back and forth we needed a little bit of movement and we didn't have any so that is what took out this unit and once we probably see in the pan, um, probably gonna be a bunch of metal in there. So we're gonna get this thing apart, see what it looks like. Hopefully it didn't just, just destroy the whole unit. So y'all gotta stay tuned, we'll be back so shortly. What's up everyone, so I'm back and look how beautiful that billet trans brake valve body looks on there good looking red fluid but you can't smell it it is fried and we've got a pan of fluid we have not dumped it out yet so let's check this out all at the same time see what it looks like so there you have it just by looking at that right there I can tell you that the pump is destroyed and that is the cause to this transmission going down is the circulation of the metal through the pump. So y'all gotta stay tuned, we'll get back with you. Okay, so we're back. Our washers here, they're all about a 16th thick. So what we're gonna do is instead of three of them, we're gonna put just two of them. That's gonna allow so if you put three, we got three in there. There's no, no pop. It's locked down into the pump. 
So what we want to do is, so we want to come, we want to move it out a 16th, most an eighth of an inch. Most eighth of an inch. A 16th to an eighth of an inch. Those are two 16th washers. And that allows enough pop in the converter that it is not gonna bottom out. So hopefully that kind of shows y'all and explains a little bit on converter spacing. What's up everyone? So I've got Cody on the camera, which is gonna allow me to show y'all what we're really talking about on torque converter spacing and how critical it is. First of all, we're gonna start with, guys, go get y'all a nice flywheel, or flex plate, sorry, flex plate. Go get y'all a real nice flex plate. Um, you know, if you're spending the money and you're going big anyways, what's a couple hundred dollars? I mean, it's probably $500 to a thousand bucks for this one, don't get me wrong, but you're not gonna have a flex like these stock ones do and which allows pump wear, okay? So, what we want to do now is is we're going to space our converter out of our pump just a little bit and we allow 16th and eighth of an inch um max so right now we are all the way into the pump okay that's how it showed up actually we have our three stack of washers customer had in it so we're gonna try to pop it back towards our flex plate. Let me grab a screwdriver so you know. I mean, I'm trying. I'm really trying. I mean, it barely moved. That is not enough for anything. The crank's gonna move in the motor more than the movement that I move this converter out of the pump. So what I'm gonna do now is. Sorry guys, we got some loud vehicles driving by every day, every five seconds, honestly. Um, I'm gonna take a 16th of an inch washer out, or we're gonna put the other two in there, which is an eighth of an inch. And that's gonna be our thickness that we're gonna need for this setup. And what we're gonna go back after we get done. So we got our two washers there, and watch this nice pop. Ready? So you see that? So that's enough pop to allow the converter for any any type of movement. It's not gonna bottom out in our pump. And we did not pull it out far enough to where it's gonna pull it out of the gears. You know, you could go a little further out with it if you had maybe a wore out motor, but if it's a brand new motor, you should be able to get away with a 16th and eighth of an inch uh, setup in between your pop of your pump. Understand? Hope everybody understood. Um, so that's that there guys. I really hope he didn't tear it up too too bad. I'm sure it's gonna be pretty bad the way the pan looked. Um, but we still hope for the best. I mean we're we just got this in, he drove it around the block and it quit moving. So y'all guys stay tuned. We'll get this thing the rest of the way apart and we'll get it on the bench and tear it apart and see what we got. There you have it. She is out. On to the autopsy table. Time to get them guts out. But we have another problem to address. That's a brand new drive shaft. Somebody got their dimensions off. So no matter if we'd have had a good running transmission anyways, one time down the track, even if it made it out of the burnout box, it was gonna throw the drive shaft because sitting on the ground, that's how far that yoke was in. We might be able to get away with the long yoke. We'll have to see if we can get one, how long it is. We'll keep y'all updated on that. Hopefully we don't have to have a new drive shaft made. We did not make that, the customer did all that themselves. And okay, another reason why we don't back. do that. I'm not gonna tear it down. I guess I'll let my dad be the one to do that, but I wanna get the first sneak peek of how bad it really is. So 
hub's not destroyed, but this is this is where it's at. Okay, so y'all ready for this? I tell you, the pump is going to be a up. Pump's going to be a up. You ready? I think that's a little bit of metal. I think we got a messed up pump in there. So we'll leave it at that. Let y'all drool on that. I could only imagine the carnage that's going to be inside that transmission. Man. And it's hard to see. You can't see it. Don't look like it's broke, but it just probably rutted the groove. It rutted it all out and pumped metal. And it just destroyed it. So there you go, folks. There's that. And like I said, we're going to end it on that note. We hope y'all enjoyed. We appreciate y'all so much for watching. We really do. I do. My dad does. Um, everybody. I mean, it, this is really awesome on what we're doing here. Go give us a thumbs up. Go subscribe to the channel, and we'll see y'all next time. Have a wonderful day.